Good evening, families and friends. Hallelujah. Our God is good all the time. He's good to you and I. Our God is faithful, families and friends. Hallelujah. Families and friends, this is our sister Martha coming to you with another live video this evening, this morning, on YouTube channel. I'm making the first video when it never ended. Hallelujah. And we also have to just continue from where I stop. Hallelujah. I'm going to read the word of God for you, brothers and sisters. I will just read the word of God for you. The message is on giving. Brothers and sisters, the message that I'm coming to you with is on giving. Brothers and sisters, the topic, the title of the message is giving. How we need to give to the kingdom of God, families and friends from Malachi. Hallelujah. Malachi, as I will read in Malachi, we need to we need to give to the kingdom of God. We need to give to the things of God. We need to give to the word of God, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. I've already started the video already, so I cannot start again to go into too much time. I just want to glorify the name of the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I just give this time to you, O God, even as I come in to do this video. Again, O God, for it to be completed with your word of Jesus. I pray, O God, the Lord, as I come to your people, O God, with your message, O God, of giving, O Father. I pray, O Jesus, the Lord, they will be able to be receptive unto your word, to maintain your word, to receive your word into the spirit, and to react on the word of God, and implement the word of God in their lives, in the name of Jesus, that the life will never be the same. Thank you for your word that is coming with power and anointing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Fathers and friends, hallelujah. Our God is good, fathers and friends, all the time and all the time, God is good to you and I. Promise and friend, if we are not even faithful, I will call remain faithful. Hallelujah. If you and I are not faithful, God will remain faithful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will just quickly go into the book of Malachi, brothers and sisters, to read Malachi for you. I talk about giving, how we need to give, and paying our tithes and our offering. If we don't do it, God said we rock him. And because of that, we live on a curse, brothers and sisters. I come to you with the word so that we'll be able to not live on a curse. We need to be obedient to the word of God. As Malachi has said, He's the God He changes not. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changed. Hallelujah. God never changed, families and friends. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. I want to read for you the book of Malachi from chapter 3, verse 6. Chapter 3, verse 6. Hallelujah. On giving. How we need to pay our time and our offering. How we need to give to the things of God, the work of God's families and friends. We need to give to the kingdom of God. We need to give to the ministry. We need to give to our brothers and our sisters, our, our, our friends, people that are in need. We need to stretch our arms to people that are in need, the underprivileged people, the widows, the, 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 the fatherless and motherless children. Hallelujah. Underprivileged people who are facing difficult time in this world, Father, friends and families. These are the people who come also. Give to because when Jesus comes in the book of Mark 20, Matthew 25, he will say, when I was hungry, did you feed me? When I was tested, they still gave me water to drink. When I was homeless, they still gave me place to sleep. Families and friends, these are the questions that Jesus will ask you and I. He will ask you and I. He said, In as much as you have done it unto these people, you have done it unto him, Jesus Christ. Matthew 25. So we need to be obedient in the things of God. We need to learn how to give to the kingdom of God, families and friends, to the work of God. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. I'm going to read for you verses of Mark of uh, Malachi 3. Verses say, Ah, the law do not change. The book of Malachi, chapter 6, chapter 3, verses, he said, He's the law, he never changed. Families and friends, He's the law, he never changed. So you, descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. God has not yet changed. 
and we the descendants of Jacob. So we cannot be destroyed. We need to trust God. Because our God has not yet changed. Every promise he ever made for our forefathers is still in promise and friends. Hallelujah. He never changed. But we the human being, we have changed. Hallelujah. But God never changed. He said, He said, even since the time of your forefathers, you have turned away from my from my decrees and have not kept them. Return unto me and I will return unto you. He said, From the days of our forefathers, families and friends, we have not kept his decree from the day of our forefathers. Who is our forefathers you're talking about? Our former generation, our grandfather, grandmother, the, 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 the Abraham, Noah, Joseph. During their time, there are people. All the miracles that God did and worked, all the trust that these people trusted God and God used them to do marvelous things in this world, to live a mark in this world. Hallelujah. People never, never remain with them to support the word of God. People went astray. People, people left the presence of God. People left the things of God and were doing their own thing. This is why he said, when the dead of Jacob, you have gone astray. You have went away from me, from my decree. From the day of our forefathers, we have gone against the decree of God. And he said we have gone away from him. He told us to return to him, brothers and sisters. He said we should return back to him and he will return to us. Brothers and friends, if we, do, if we return to God, in seeking the face of God, brothers and sisters, in righteousness, God will turn back to us. If we walk in his decrees, brothers and sisters, and turn back to the goodness of God and recognize who he is in our life, God will turn back to us. We need to turn back to God, brothers and sisters. We need to come back to God, to the decree of God, to the statue, for it, to his presence, to his goodness, to his righteousness, to, to his audience, to his statues. We need to come back up to the, the biblical word of God, the word of life, the word of peace, grace, and blessing, long life, and prosperity. And power is in the word of God, families and friends. We need to come back to God. To the goodness of God, to, to the same grace, to His grace and His favor over our life. Hallelujah. We need to come back to God. He said, and He will come back to, to, to us. He said, I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. He said, We will come back to Him. He will come back to us, families and friends. Hallelujah. He's not insisting to not come back to us. He, as much we decide to come to Him, He's willing to come back to us. Our oh, God is faithful. For you ask, how uh, have we to return? They say, we a man rob God. This is how far we have gone from God, brothers and sisters. We have gone far away from God, His order, His status, His commandment, every His decree, all these things He told us to do, that we receive this physical and spiritual blessing in our, in our generation. We have gone away from all these things of God. That's why He said we should come back to Him, brothers and sisters. And he's telling all the way in which we have gone far away from him is because we have robbed him. Brothers and sisters, we have robbed God. He said, he said, how are we to return to a man where a man robbed God? He said, how are we to return? He asked God, where a man robbed God? He said, yet you have robbed me. How do we rob you? He said, in tithes and offering. God said, in tithes and offering, we have robbed him in our tithes, in our offering, families and friends. We need to give to the kingdom of God, to the work of God. Brothers and sisters, when you are, are give a tangible seed, seed, and sow this seed into the kingdom, into the house of God, families and friends, we will, God will open the windows, the, 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 the the, the, the floor gate of heaven and put down the blessing that he will put upon us, families and friends, that will not be able to have enough room to store this blessing. It will be so much as we make our mind to give to the work of God, to the church, to the pastors, to the prophets. We will tap when we, we sow a seed in a gift to a pastor. You will sow into his what. You sow into his uh, 
anointing. When you give to a prophet, you sow into him the anointing of the prophet. When you sow into the pastor, you will you will you will sow you will you will you will you will walk into the you will receive the anointing of the pastor, of the prophet, the apostles, as you sow into the sea of these people, you will you will you will you will you will you will reap the, the anointing. You also receive the anointing. You 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 impartake the, the anointing of them. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we need to sow to the kingdom of God, to the work of God, that will not bring cast upon ourselves. Because God said we should sow. We should sow. We should pay our tithe. He said we have robbed him because what? We have not paid our tithe. We have robbed God, host, robbed God, kingdom, robbed God, church, robbed God, administration on earth. Hallelujah. Rob God, host. Rob the work of God on earth that will be carried out by his people. We have robbed him. So this, because of you and I robbing God, families and friends, this is why the word of God has not been able to reach the level it's supposed to reach because the people that God has here to carry on his way, they don't have the material, the financial, the financial needs for them to fulfill whatever mission they need to fulfill. Because you and I have robbed God, we cannot pay our time, we cannot get our offering, so the church does not have fun, sufficient fun to carry on the church duty. For Mr. Friends, hallelujah. The church does not have sufficient fun, fun to carry on the church duty because of you and I, because of our, our, our own commitment and not meeting up to our obligation in the house of God. What we need to do to fulfill to experience the goodness of God in our life, we are not fulfilling it. We need to come back to God, brothers and sisters. You and I need to come back to God to not rob God. We need to pay our tithe. We need to pay our tithe, pay our offering. Hallelujah. We need to seek the kingdom of God. We need to, we need to, we need to support the work of God on earth. So in the life of the minister of the gospel, the deacon, the pastors, the prophets, that will tap into the anointing of their families and friends as you give to them freely. You give freely, you receive. Do not give grudgingly. Do not give heartlessly. Give freely from your heart to the house of God, to the kingdom of God, and so in the life of the men of God, families and friends. And you will see if God said, put me to test and see if I will not open the windows of heaven, the floor gate, to pull down blessing upon you that you will not, no store room to receive. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, you are good, O oh God. Help us, O oh Father, to come back to you, O oh God, to receive this blessing. Our God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Then let me just read the scripture here for you that he's saying. He said, let me just read the scripture from his and friends. He said, yeah, he says, he said, you have robbed me. For he asked, how have we robbed you in tithes and offering? He said, we have robbed you in our tithes and our offering because we're not meeting to the obligation of paying our tithe and our offering. We need to take every 10% of our labor, every 10% of our income, what we labor for. For us, so our income, our labor, what we ever labor for, 10% is for the house of God. 10%, 10% of our income, for us, so our labor, 10% it is for the house of God. It goes to the treasure of the church for the work of the church. That people who are in the church facing problem, that the pastor will be able to assist these people. Widows that are there that need that are having problem, the pastor will be able to assist, assist these people. But we are not meeting up with the obligation, brothers and sisters, is pay our time and give it our pay our offering. How can the work of God continue? The house of God is dry because there's no money. We have robbed God. We're sitting on our money. We're sitting on everything that he ever blessed us with. We need to open our arms to be able to give to the house of God, to the kingdom of God. Oh, I dear brothers and sisters, in supporting the house of God, this is one of the most blessed things on earth for us to do, brothers and sisters. Where your finance will go, there will, where you will, there will be no rust and mold and water to destroy it. Hallelujah. Daily, and supporting the kingdom of God on earth is a blessing that God has for you in store, families and friends. 
and you and I have to go. Hallelujah. Then he said in his voice, I just read it for you. He said, the whole nation of you, because you are whopping men, the whole nation is whopping will bring their whole tie into the storehouse that they may, may be full in my house. Test me. Test me on this, says the Lord God Almighty. And see, if I were not sure, I were not throw open the floor gate of heaven to pull out so much blessing that you will not have room enough for it. Blessed say, yeah. He said, test it and see. Just go and see if you pay your time, give your offering, brothers, and support the kingdom of God and see if God will not open the floodgate and pull down more blessing upon you and other who will have no room to bestow that blessing. It will be so much blessing. Open the floodgate in your presence and let it rain on me. Love in a floodgate in your presence and let it rain, let it rain, let it rain on me. Open a floodgate, Lord, in your presence and let it rain on me. Open a floodgate, Lord. In your presence, and let it rain for your rain on me. Open the floodgate, Lord, in our presence, and let it rain on me. Open the floodgate, Lord, in your presence. And let it rain on me. Open the floodgate, Lord, in your presence. And let it rain, let it rain, let it rain on me. Open the floodgate, Lord, in your presence. And let it rain on me. Hallelujah. Let God open the floodgate for us, my friends. And He'll put down a blessing in store for you and I. Then we test the Lord and see. God is putting out to test and say, Test me and see if you will not pull the blessing you know, to open the floodgate that will pull down blessing that will be so much that we don't have room to restore, to store it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Then coming down to is it, and see if I will not pull open the floor gate of heaven and pull so much blessing that you will not have a room for it. I will prevent pests from divine your crops. Yeah. And the vine divine your feet. In your feet and not cast their form, the fruit, says the Lord Almighty. Then of all nations will call you blessed, and all us will be a be a delight land, says the Lord Almighty. You have said. Hallelujah. I stop to I stop to say the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. How he will cut our crops in the feet, brothers and sisters. The pests will not eat our fruit. As we sow to the kingdom of God. 
as we sow to the work of God, brothers and sisters, as we give, freedom we give, freedom we receive, as we sow a tangible seed in the kingdom of God, in the house of God, in the life of the, 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 the pastors, the, 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 the prophet, and sow a tangible seed in the church, brothers and sisters, our God will protect our crops. He will open the floodgate of heaven to put that blessing. I will not have room to store it. Hallelujah. I will read for you the book of uh, First Thessalonians 18. Quickly. First Thessalonians 18, families and friends. Mm. Open the floor gate, be a price line, and let it rain for me. Open the floor gate, Lord. Be your presence and let it rain, let it rain on me. Open the floor gate, Jesus. Be your presence in the life of your people and let it rain, for your rain from the floor gate on us. Open your floor gate, Lord. Be your presence. For your people and let it rain on me hallelujah thank you jesus families and friends god will open the floor gate as you be obedient to the word of god hallelujah to not rob god he said we are robbing we refuse to rob god return back to your god return back to his status return back to his decree hallelujah that will not live on a christ families and friends that you open a floodgate and pull so many blessings down for you and I. Hallelujah. I'll read for you. First Thessalonians 5 18. 5 18. Okay. I'm ready for you. First Thessalonians 5 18. Families and friends. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I didn't want to excuse me. I didn't want to go close the door. 518 reads. Hallelujah. 518 16 yeah 518 I'm reading from the book of first Thessalonians 518 families and friends he said yeah God will God will for you God will for you in Christ Jesus God will for you in Christ Jesus do not what put out out the what the spirit the fire hmm? five eighteen wait, wait, wait. hallelujah looking for five eighteen families and friends yeah five eighteen five eighteen say give thanks give thanks in all such circumstances, how many friends? The word of God in First Thessalonians 5 18. He said, Give thanks in every such circumstances, brothers and sisters. Every such circumstances happening in your life, every condition happening in your life, every problem happening in your life, everything that is happening in your life, how many friends? Every such circumstances in this world that you go through, he said, You're giving thanks, be it good or bad, giving thanks, families and friends, for the fact that you are alive. For the fact that you are laughing, eating, any problem that comes your way, brothers and sisters, 
we need to give God thanks for that. Hallelujah. You see, we need to give him thanks. All every circumstances that come our way, we need to give God thanks. Hallelujah. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the word of God in Christ Jesus concerning your life. In every circumstances in your life, whatever you, you encounter in this life, be it good or bad, you need to give God thanks for life that he has given to you. You need to give him thanks, brothers and sisters. He said in every circumstances, everything we encounter in this life, everything we are taking, every problem we go through, and conditions, we need to give God thanks. He said it is the word of God concerning us through Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, so we should not be anxious. We should not be so anxious for also for, for, for us to, 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 to open our mouth and start to speak a negative thing in our life when things are not going our way. We get so frustrated and begin to say negative things against and even go against the word of God. But Mr. Friend, we to be careful because he said in everything we should give thanks. It is a way concerning us Christ Jesus, through Christ Jesus. And I'll read for you from the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 13, 15. Jeremiah 13, 15, families and friends. I'll read for you Jeremiah 13, 15. Hallelujah. And Daniel. And Prophet. Eh? Jeremiah 3, chapter 3, verse 15, reads. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, reads from this address. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 15, uh, 3, verse 15, reads. Okay, let me just go for the 15 year. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15. Jeremiah chapter, I'm reading from Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. 15 said, Then I will give you shepherds after my what? After my own heart. If we are obedient in the things of God, brothers and sisters, in paying the 10% of our income to God as time and pay our offering and, and ob in obedience, he said he will give us shepherds of his heart. Shepherds, people of the gospel, people of the law, of his heart, he God heart. Shepherds. A good shepherd, he will give people a shepherd to us of his heart that will lead us, lead us in wisdom. You understand it? In wisdom. People that will lead you with what? Knowledge and understanding. A good shepherd that will lead you and I with knowledge and understanding. Brothers and sisters. We need to be obedient in the things of God, families and friends. When we are obedient in the things of God, paying our tithe, taking 10% of our income and giving it to the kingdom of God, so and paying our offering, brothers and sisters, so and see in the love of the prophet in the midst of the gospel, families and friends. He said he will give our watch shepherds of his heart that will lead you and I. The path that was also walk on in what in knowledge and understanding, in knowledge and understanding, brothers and sisters, the word of God has said it. We only need to be obedient to the word of God, and we see the blessing of God and the power of the Lord, the might of the Lord working in our lives in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, help us, oh God, to be obedient to your word that it will sound shepherds of your heart. Give us shepherd of your hearts that will lead up in knowledge. And understanding in this world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for your word. And I will read for you. Proverbs 2 says. Proverbs 2 says, families and friends. 
pop quick little youtube private juices so it's really late now i have to make this video quick private juices the other ones i will end it another time Parrot 2. Parrot chapter 2 for assist, please. For the Lord gave wisdom, and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. God gave wisdom, and from his mouth come what? Knowledge and understanding. God is the one that gave wisdom unto his servants. And from the mouth of God come what? Knowledge and understanding. Thank you, Jesus. Out of the mouth of God come knowledge and what understanding. The knowledge of God. Hallelujah. God gave up knowledge and understanding. Out of his mouth come in knowledge and understanding. Understanding in everything. Understanding the Father. This is the sixth book of the power. The Holy Spirit of the Lord will come and teach us this word. As we meditate on his word of God, he will teach us. He will open our understanding. He will enlarge us. To, 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 to speak the word of God with authority in the name of Jesus. Help our Holy Spirit to give us wisdom and knowledge in our obedience, O oh Father. You will assign shepherds of your heart unto us that will lead us in knowledge and wisdom and understanding. And again, you send it in your word here in the book of Proverbs 2 says, You said, For the law gave wisdom, and from the mouth of, from the mouth, Come knowledge and understanding. From the mouth of God come knowledge and understanding. Have you to understand the word of God. Have you to understand your life. Have you to understand things that, things that, can, on, on, that you cannot understand. Brothers and sisters, everything that is very, very difficult for you to understand. God will give you the wisdom and the knowledge for you to understand. Uh, the Holy Spirit, of, the Holy Spirit of Lord will teach you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I'll read Colossians. Colossians. Before you quick give Colossians. Today is the thing. Or just how we ought to reclaim as the whole thing. Colossians. Today is the thing. Okay, Colossians 3 17 reads Colossians 3 17. 3 17 reads. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Colossians 3 19. Eh? 17. And whatsoever you do, whether in words or deeds, do it in all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God, the Father true to him. Brothers and sisters, you hear what he said? He said, in everything that we do, show words and deeds, we should do it in the power of the Holy Spirit, true Christ Jesus. Our words, that the words that we speak, brothers and sisters, that we speak to people. Anything that we do in this world concerning the way that we live our life, the way we speak to people, our deeds, the, the, way, the way we engage ourselves into things, things that we engage ourselves into do, our deeds, our works, brothers and sisters, it should bring glory to God. We should do everything, our deeds and our works should, should be. In alignment with the goodness of God, with the grace of God, by righteousness in the law. Families and friends, hallelujah. He said, in whatever thing that you do, hallelujah. Let me read it for you one more time. Thank you, Jesus. He said, in whatever you do, what are in words, brothers and sisters, what are in words? That you're doing things for God, that you're going to speak to your people, to his people, concerning his words, hallelujah, or in this, 
that you'll be able for you to engage yourself in some deeds of the church, engage yourself in some activities of the church, some work of the church, some matter of the church, your deeds. Everything should be done through Christ Jesus, brothers and sisters. It should be done through Christ Jesus, through the word of God. Hallelujah. Through the word of God, everything that you found to do, brothers and sisters, in the kingdom of God, it should be through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Through Christ Jesus, the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Let your deeds be good. Let it work your words. Be a word that will come to fulfill. That will come to bring blessing to the church. The word that will elevate, elevate people. Your word that will of encouragement. The deeds, the thing that you gave yourself in the work that you do for the law. How you seek the kingdom of God, brothers and sisters. How you draw people to Christ. Your engagement with the church. Your deeds, every deed of you should be surrounding all the goodness of God through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Then we talk to, then I'll go down to Luke 6. This is the last scripture. Luke 6. Luke chapter 6 is the last scripture I want to read for you, brothers, brothers and sisters. Then I'll give the prayer. Luke 6. Luke 6 30. Luke 6 verse 30. Hallelujah. Give to everyone who asks you. Luke 6 verse 30. He said, Give to everyone who asks you in our brothers, brothers and sisters. Anyone that asks you for anything, brothers, if you're in a capacity, if you're in a position for you to help them, help their families and friends. He said, Give to everyone who asks you. And it, everyone what? Give to everyone who asks you. And and if anyone take what belongs to you, brothers and sisters, anyone, if they take anything that belongs to you, do not demand it back. Give to them. But if they come, take things from you forcibly, forcibly, they come and force something from you that is not of them, but they get to enforce it from you. He said, do not demand it back from them. For whatsoever a man, do shall lay after him. Jehah, he come and force something for you against your will, that Jehah somebody will force something for him against his will. Brothers and sisters, do not go back and take anything that has been falsely taken from you. Your right and other things that belong to you, anybody can take it from you forcibly. Do not demand it back, he said. Here's the word of God, brothers and sisters. He said, do not demand it back. Leave it with them because what's it ever mentioned that he has mentioned unto you? It will be mentioned unto them in the name of Jesus. This is the word of God, families and friends. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. And I will read the closing, the closing prayer for you. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, families and friends. May the Lord, in the book of uh, uh, Numbers, chapter 6, verse 24, it says that may the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord return his face unto you. Hallelujah. Let me just, I try to memorize it, families and friends. Let me just go there quickly before I, before I forget to tell you something different. I have to memorize it. I cannot be looking for it all the time in power. I have to, I have to memorize it. It's chapter 4, chapter Luke, uh, number 6. Yes, number says, I'll to read it quickly. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24. Families and friends, as we come to the close of this video, I will just let you close a uh, closing prayer with you. It is the closing prayer from now on. I will be reciting all your life as before I close any video. This is the closing prayer we will offer. I will be offering unto you every day, praying with you on. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Hallelujah. May the Lord God bless and keep you. Family and friends. May the Lord let, make his face to shine upon you and your family. 
and be gracious may the lord make a face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you hallelujah may the lord turn his face unto you and give you peace hallelujah thank you may the lord bless you families and friends may the lord bless and keep you until another life you know let god bless and keep you safe honor his protection honor his way hallelujah let he allow his face to shine let him be gracious unto you and, and let his face to shine upon you hallelujah the lord turn his face towards you and give you peace the peace of the lord i leave for you families and friends may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the peace of god I say, a lie, a face to shine upon you and give you peace and be gracious unto you now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. May the peace of God be with you now and forevermore. Shalom.